Hello everyone, Ron again and in this video we are going to talk about vocoding. And we can try different synthesizers to achieve a different effect. So I have a GMS loaded here and I'm going to try that one too. So turn it to the right, I'm going to take that one off, then make it so that it's going to the vocoder. And of course, you can't forget to go here. Makes it so that it's actually playing something. And let's see what it sounds like. With the GMS, I didn't do anything to it. I just left it at its default. Here we go. Respect. 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 And I turned it down. Not loud enough. Respect, 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 respect. There we go. The GMS actually sounds better. I will take this phaser off, take the reverb off. Might add distortion, let's see. Respect, 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 respect. 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 So you can see here the Y axis is a filter, so that's a low passing, and the X axis is distortion, which adds more upper harmonics naturally. So as I add more upper harmonics, you can hear that the sound becomes more clear. Respect. 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 Now, let's glue that there, because I like it. Consider that here I EQ'd, right? So we can look at this EQ again. Respect. Respect. See? Respect. It sort of resembles a human voice. You can see my voice up here. Respect. Respect. And that sounds pretty good. Respect, 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 respect. Increase the release time. Sounds a little bit better to me, like more intelligible. Maybe I wouldn't use those frequencies. I would EQ after, but I would play around with this too. So respect, 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 respect. It sounds super metallic. I kind of like it. Respect, 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 respect. Also, if you push these all the way down, it meets them totally. Respect, 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 respect. It's actually very hard to aim this. You can see this is over here. It's like moved over. That's weird. Anyway, so that should be enough. It's basic, but you can go and create some vocoding of your own. Now, I should be honest about how when I was experimenting, I was using Citrus because it's a lot better for sound design. But for the purpose of keeping things simple, I use GMS. GMS is still pretty good, not to take anything away from it. Because what I could do is... Okay, that's already open. The parametric EQ. So, if I go here and I add frequency modulation, it will change the way the sound sounds again. So, let's try it. So you got FM. Respect, 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 respect. And it's not changing it too much from what I can hear. But in Citrus, it's totally different because Citrus is far superior in this regard. But in the coming videos, I will explain that. You know, another thing to be considered is always can I add more notes? Let's see what that sounds like real quick. Respect. 
respect, 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 respect. See? It's interesting. I meant to hit a G. Respect. No, it's a major chord. Respect. Respect. So sometimes that can affect the sound that you have and make it sound better. Respect. Ew. Respect. Respect. I like this metallic sound here. But that'll do it. So just keep in mind, one to the left, one to the right. And I suppose it's not something I chose to do, but you could add more than one synthesizer. You know, like GMS is there. I could have been like, have them both. Respect. Respect. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It may not recognize them. I think it would be better put them in one channel, like a layered sound, and then put that here. Respect. Respect. But it still doesn't do a whole lot. If you ask me, it doesn't make a big difference. It seems like GMS is just masking the mini synth. So those are the basics of how to use Fruity Vocoder. And I have not fully decided what to do in the next video because there's a lot to cover. There's a lot to talk about. Vocodex is very complex, but it is way better. So I decided to start with this because it's easy. You know, you just go in, you pick whatever you want, and you can experiment with different sounds as the carrier. But the modulator is usually going to be a voice or a drum. So that is something to keep in mind. And with that being said, that wraps up this video. And I hope that it was helpful to you. If you stuck around to the end then i thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me if you like these and share i don't talk about sharing but that would be helpful you know let other people see it and with that being said as usual have an awesome day peace